a food favorite in Cambridge opened its doors in Madison just a few weeks ago, but some neighbors in Madison have been concerned about Double S Barbecue since April. That's when the papers were signed to open on Monroe Street. NBC 15's Lindsey Branwall is live at the restaurant where a meeting just wrapped up to address the people's concerns. Lindsey? Thanks, John. Yeah, if you actually take a peek behind me, I'll step out of the way so you can see a little bit better. But people are still here after hours, after the meeting. They're talking to the owners. But an hour ago, this was standing room only. Now, this all revolved around the use of an outdoor barbecue pit. The owners, though, they tell me that they wouldn't be able to serve a quarter of their menu without it. People in support of the restaurant feel that the business owners are being treated unfair to compared to other people on this street while those against the restaurant are worried about how smoke and smell would impact their quality of life. But the owners worked all day to ease the minds in the neighborhood. Good cherry wood and, and uh, a few, few pieces of here. Sean and Sarah Jones fired up their smoker outside their new double S barbecue location this morning. It's to show anyone that wants to come and and look at the smoker in action that it's it is not a wood boiler it's not Tons of smoke. It, right it is no different than anybody cooking in their backyard after starting their mom and pop shop in cambridge the texas style barbecue owners say they had so many customers traveling from madison they made the move closer to them are you dining in or taking no, it with you but they're cooking today to win over some critics we've run into a couple of neighbors that have some issues with the smoker i think most of the issues are based on um, fear of the unknown. While some say the smoker shouldn't be around at all. We're uh, concerned about the levels of smoke that are being generated by this device. Mm -hmm. um, it's not too dissimilar from a uh, wood fire uh, boiler that are currently banned. Others are just asking for simple changes. If they move it back here and the stack is high enough so the smoke is not affecting them, then I would consider it to be sort of like a wood burning, you know, wood burning fireplace. The owners hope today's demonstration puts the fire of controversy That's up fun. in smoke. And, and we want to be good neighbors. This is coming home for me. So when this spot became available, we were really excited about the, the possibility of being on this street. Yeah, well, a public hearing is set for November 2nd. That will be the final decision on whether they'll be able to use this barbecue pit or not. For now, reporting live on Monroe Street, Lindsey Branwell, NBC 15 News. All right, Lindsey, thanks for that report.